city should be focused on human, right? Sure. So um, please describe an example of that kind of city. How does it look like? Why we need to have sustainability? Because we want to give this city to the next generation. Yes. So we cannot destroy our own home mm. for the sake of our future children. Right? So it's very logical. Yeah. Okay, and then the second stage after you achieve a certain kind of sustainability, I think is much more important is to think about wellness. Wellness is not just about uh, living responsibly, mm -hmm. but also living happily. Yeah. How to become happy in the city? Mm -hmm. And there are many ways of becoming happy in the cities. One is related to your health, physical health mental health mm -hmm. and how to help the city able to make people healthier and happier. So it's a long way to go to um, let people, the resident, live in No, the it's not a long way to go. It can happen tomorrow. How? Your children, how you educate your children, right? So you start from home, start from university. Mm. How you teach architecture, how you teach urban planning. Are you teaching architecture only from technological angle? Mm -hmm. Or do you teach architecture from the human angle? So the key feature to prepare for that future is education, right? Yes. The debate is the education. Um, so we'd love to know your talks on the applied training programs like in Malang University is doing on the way to developing the process to get into the future. In education, there are three basic domains that mm -hmm. you have to achieve together. Mm -hmm. First is to train knowledge. Mm -hmm. So knowledge is very easy now. You just Google, you get all the knowledge, internet, whatever technology is there. Yeah. After knowledge is skill. Skillful, how mm -hmm. to make people skillful using tools, using technology, using internet, whatever. It's easy to train skill. Yeah. The third part which is very difficult is value. What kind of value that you teach your students? Mm -hmm. Are you training students who cannot think, only work for companies? Are you training students can, who can become an uh, agent for change? It depends on, are you going to train someone to be critical or you are trying not to make students critical? Hmm. How to make education, uh, for example, to, to, to make students understand the suffering of people? Then you must push the classroom out. Yeah. Do the teaching in the slum area. During the flood, push all the students into the flood. Yeah. So they know what flood is. Mm. And then they can come up with idea on engineering solutions. We did in Singapore actually is to change the, the way we teach. Mm -hmm. Um, it's not like classroom teaching anymore, mm -hmm. but it's more like flipped classroom models mm. or blended learning models. So student is really pushed to find their own information. For example, upload all information in the internet or they have to search on in the internet and then they have to come out with five minute video clips for presentation in the classroom. Yeah. And that video clips has to contain interview with real people mm -hmm. and a shot of the real situations and the idea of what is your critical assessment and your ideas. Mm -hmm. Everything compressed in five minutes and then accompanied by report of two A4 paper. Mm -hmm. Very practical. Yeah. And then they have to prepare that in one week, come to the classroom and we run a seminar. Mm. So I don't, as a teacher. Mm. So I think that is the way to create a new generation of young people yeah. with a very practical uh, technology and teaching pedagogy. Yeah. So the building is beautiful. But how you make this building more responsible, that depends on the people who use this. Yes. Actually, I'm more interested to see the trees outside there. Mm -hmm. That you have some scaffolding to yeah. hold the trees because of the wind. Yeah. I told one of the students, why don't you keep it? Keep the scaffolding, even if the tree is growing big. Why? Because you can put pen, you can put small chairs or not chairs. A uh, wooden platform mm -hmm. and sell cafe. Yeah. Become a coffee that you like to eat on the street. Mm. 
Why force the students to eat in the canteen? Yeah. Why don't push them to eat under the trees mm -hmm. and then enjoying the breeze, enjoying the coffee and pearl and and pan mi? Mm. A very natural food, but not McDonald's and not Starbucks. Mm -hmm. That is policy. Yes. And the university can do more by allowing that to happen mm -hmm. from the ground and give students more freedom to develop the idea how to use the outer spaces and even to use the interior spaces. Mm -hmm. That will grow the sense of belonging. Yeah. That this campus is their home. Mm -hmm. Right. So the, the teachers, the university uh, administrators play the role as a parents.